everybody, Last Outrider here with part two of our Assassin Fluff. We got a lot of stuff coming your way now. We're going to get right into it with the Emperor's Knives. The training of an assassin is a long and arduous business. Almost every recruit is an orphan, taken from the wreckage of his or her former life among the population of a death world feral society, or hive city, and transported to the Scola Poginium for tutelage. Here, they train alongside the youths who will become the foremost agents of the Imperium. Life in the Scolas is extremely hard. A relentless grind of physical and mental challenge where only the strongest thrive not survive thrive two different words taught to strive for excellence and obedience in all things the minds and bodies of the recruits are sharpened to a killing edge whilst their spirit learns to embrace the emperor as master and immortal father most of these intense young men and women go on to train as Militarum Tempestus Scions, Commissars, or, in the most unusual cases, Inquisitors. Those of their number who are born killers, however, are instead appropriated by the shadowy figures that haunt each selection day. Those recruits are never seen again by their fellows. From that day onward, their only true friend is death itself. Training starts as the Assassinorum ships return to Terra, with the Aficio instructors testing their prospective pupils mercilessly. The recruits must survive on limited food or air for days at a time. They must constantly fight each other in armed and unarmed combat in conditions of total darkness or blinding light, zero-g or crushing weight, stifling heat or freezing cold. By the time of their arrival, there may be only a tenth of the prospective assassins left, or sometimes, if the instructors deem every recruit to be unworthy, none at all. Upon arrival at Terra, the surviving initiates begin the next phase of their training, sailing past the space-borne basilicas, immense queues of pilgrim craft, and military cordons that congest Terra's outer orbit. They are carried down into the Temple's Assassinorum, under the most advanced of shrouding protocols. In subterranean safe houses, these new recruits are divided amongst the hidden temples of the Aficio Assassinorum. Each temple has its own ancient ways and mysteries, and each specializes in a different aspect of the art of murder. Which is interesting because murder is actually a legal term. It is the illegal killing of another human being. If an assassin is sent out of you, sanctioned by the High Lords of Terra, it's not murder. There are many such temples, some of which are known to the others, and some that are remain completely secret. There, the initiates train for a full decade, laboring under the auspices of Lord Assassins so harsh they make the drill abbots of the Scolum Progenium look like kindly uncles by comparison. The training procedure becomes ever more rigorous over the years as the temples test each candidate to his or her utmost limits. Days are spent battling with bone-wrenching exercise engines, fighting in deadly bouts or mastering their tolerances for pain. Initiates must survive lengthy courses of psychoindoctrinization and aggressive hypnosis, undergo physical tests of ever-escalating severity and digest vast quantities of information about the Imperium that will soon be their hunting ground. They must train in the most exotic of weaponry and steel their bodies against the ravages of endless steroids and stems. Even then, they have only scratched the surface of their temple's potential arsenal. 
The hidden orders of the Assassinorum conceal masterpieces of destruction, some of which were devised by the Primarchs Malkador the Sigilet and even the Emperor himself. Truly, it is said that each temple houses a thousand deaths and more. Ooh. Here's a quote. An assassin's body is his most powerful weapon, or she. He can smash through steel with his hands and feet. He can climb sheer surfaces, leap gaping chasms, run as fast as the wind, and endure hardships that would kill lesser men. None can withstand pain or hurt like an assassin. He can place his hand in boiling lava without flinching. He may be able to place his hand in boiling lava. I can assure you, his hand will not exist after it has been placed. So, so it won't matter. <laughs> he can endure flame or cutting blade. Even mortal wounds will not blunt his purpose. He works silently and without thanks. For he is the bloody-handed and secret savior of the Imperium. Please don't call them the bloody-handed god. Uh, yeah, somebody already claims that. I believe it's the avatar of Cain. But This quote comes from The Nature of the Knife. Grand Master Realisticles. It's amazing that they actually allow master assassins to write little journals about their memoirs as life of an assassin. You got to ask yourself, who's going to be allowed to read this shit? But never mind. <clears throat> An army of one will be the next part. Until then, see you next time. Bye. Hmm.